Hola. Hola. Lightspeed Spanish. This is a podcast for absolute beginners and it's number 37. Yes. Dios, <laughs> hemos hecho tantos podcasts, Cynthia. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. estás tú? Fenomenal. Fenomenal. Sí, te... ¿qué ha pasado? ¿Se ha roto? Uh, sí. Oh. Sí, se me ha roto. Porque... Porque sí. Por el tiempo. ¿Por el tiempo? Sí. sí porque... ¿Por el calor? Lleva... No. <risa> no, por... no, el tiempo que... Ah, por el tiempo que, que lo llevas que puesto. Lo llevo. ¿Cuánto no. tiempo llevas, llevas eso? Más de un año. Y es... Eh, se llama resina. Entonces no, no es tan fuerte como oh. debería ser. Bueno. Vale. Ok. You know, today we're going to talk about the verb poder. <laughs> poder. Yeah. I wish we, we could talk about this in English. I mean, with the English poder, because that's oh, yeah. just a weird verb okay. in English. Yeah. We'll do that in light speed English. Yes. Um, and and this is poder and not podar, which is a completely, poder, no. completely different poder. verb. Poder. <laughs> Pruning. Okay. Now, poder. What we're going to do is we're going to use Cynthia's expertise here and we're going to go through um, the way that poder works, okay? But not only in present, but also in the past, all right? This is because it's, it's one of the most used verbs. We use it massively. We're always talking about what we can and what we can't do or asking people if they can or if they can't do something. Okay, Cynthia. Okay. Poder is irregular in present. Yes. Yes. Yes, and it's a regular in the um, preterite. Preterite. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Or the indefinido. Yes. Indefinido, as, which is the most ridiculous. I'm not going to round on about that. It's the most ridiculous name that you could ever put on that tense. I'll talk about that another time. Okay. So, poder. How does it conjugate in present? Yo puedo. Tú puedes. Él puede o ella puede. Nosotros podemos. Vosotros podéis, ellos, ellas pueden. Excellent. Um, just like a true professional. Almost, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you notice when Cynthia got to the nosotros and the vosotros, uh, the, the verb was not irregular? Okay, no. we've talked about this before. The Spanish um, verbs are boot verbs, so whenever you get to the mos and the is, they're always standard, just normal verbs. So that's present, okay? Yes. Um, so give us a couple of examples of how you would use, um, for example, if you're going to ask me, Gordon, can you, um, can you give me lots of money, for example? How would you say that? Okay, so then if I have two verbs, like can and to give, mm -hmm. we only conjugate the first one here. Okay. So the second one would be infinitive. Yeah, so can just would kind be of bolts on, doesn't it? Yeah. Exactly. So then I would say, can you give me lots of money? Mm. Yeah. Gordon, ¿puedes darme mucho dinero? O, Gordon, ¿me puedes dar mucho dinero? Ah, eh, no. Oh. <laughs> no puedo. ¿Poco dinero? Sí. <laughs> Un poco de dinero sin problemas. Okay, so okay. If, you, if you notice uh, what Cynthia did there, she said, ¿puedes darme? Okay. O me puedes dar. Darme so, is all one word. Darme. Darme. Yeah. yeah. If you if you aren't sure why it is that we can put the me on the end, you need to go back through our, our videos and check out the the rules of when you can actually put the pronouns on the end. There are only three specific times that you can add a pronoun on the end. But we're dealing with poder at the moment. Okay. So. Um, Obviously, just like normal, you would conjugate the verb into the person that you're talking about. Sí. Um, just to, uh, out of interest, um, how could you say um, one can't smoke here? You can't smoke here. With, using the C. Yeah. No se puede fumar aquí. Okay. Okay. And that's just the Spanish way of, of the English way that we say you can't. When I could say to you, you can't smoke here. If you, you aren't, perhaps aren't even a smoker, and I say you can't smoke here, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking it's a general, general, yeah? General so in Spanish, what you. you do is you use C. 
eso. No se puede. Sí se puede, no se puede. And it's very, very common to hear that. And the puede, the verb goes in the, uh, in the third person, like in English. Yeah. Um, no, no, in English. Because we say one can't smoke here. One. And this is the third person. Yeah. Just as we, we used, to, uh, used to do uh, in English. Well, can one, can one um, enter through this door? But if, I, if I'm referring to you, like you can't smoke here, like you personally, you, then I would say no puedes fumar aquí. Correcto. Okay. Okay. So no se puede, one, one can't. can't. In general. Okay? Yeah. It's, it, not, it's, not, it's allowed. not allowed. It's yeah, not it's allowed. It's not allowed. You can't, no puedes. Yeah. And of course, in, I remember in, in Mexico somebody saying to me, I used to say, I used to, say to them, <gasps> no se puede. And they used to say to me, Si se puede. <laughs> si se puede. No se debe. <laughs> ah, yes, we said mm -hmm. that as well. Mm -hmm. So you can. Se, se but puede, you pero no se debe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí. Yeah, well, you mustn't. Okay, um, Cynthia, now let's go into the, the past, okay? But we'll, we'll not do the perfect tense because I would like to focus on the preterite because it, the preterite's interesting with the poder, okay? And the, the way that it works with the imperfect. So, preterite is imperfect. Im, im, <laughs> preterite. preterite is not imperfect. <laughs> Do not get that in your head. Preterite is irregular, okay? So, how does it conjugate in, in poder, in preterite? Yes. Yo pude, tú pudiste, él, ella pudo, nosotros pudimos, vosotros pudisteis, ellos pudieron. Okay, great. Muchas gracias. All right, so it's it's we've got this ud ud type of um, uh, stem uh, stem change, okay? So what happens? What does it mean when poder to be able goes into preterite, okay? It changes the meaning. It's to be able to can do something, okay? But it's I could, yeah. If you say pude, I could, okay? So we've got, for example, how would you say I could do it? Pude hacerlo. Yeah. O okay. lo pude hacer. Right. Now that, just be careful with, because as Cynthia said, in English, this is a weird verb. I could do it isn't referring to the conditional, like if, if I had lots of oh, time. Oh, if you I say could I could do it in the yeah. future. Oh, I could do that. Yeah. Then but, it would be podría. But we're which talking is the in the would. past. Yeah. Is the, is would can. Yeah. Exactly. I would be able to do it. Yeah. But could could also be past tense, so it depends what you mean. Could or could. Yeah. Could, as, as I did it. Yeah, I was I able to. Do, yeah, I was able to do it. Pude. Yeah. Okay. Could in the future or possible future. Podría. Okay. So we'll, we'll say I was able to do it. That, that's probably yes. an easier way. So, we <laughs> yes. so I was able to do it. Pude. I was able to do it. Pude. Pude, pude hacerlo. hacerlo. Okay. O lo pude hacer. O lo pude hacer. Okay, now, also, if we use the imperfect, that would be. I was able podía. to. Podía. Podía. Podía hacerlo. Okay. Lo podía hacer. All right. So, what's the difference? What's the difference in meaning between the preterite, pude, and maybe, maybe it's easier if we do the negative. No, no pude hacerlo. O no podía hacerlo. What's the difference, Cynthia? Typically, if I say no, no pude hacerlo, it's, it means I couldn't do it. That's it. I just couldn't do it. But if I say no podía, it tends to mean that I couldn't, but then I did. I, then I could do it. Um, I tell you how to, how to think about it. In, or that you've been doing it for a long time as well, that you've been trying for a long time to do it. Uh -huh. because, because imperfect is a used to tense as well, it's like the difference between saying, uh, oh, I tried that and I couldn't do it, yeah. okay, that's no pude hacerlo, or I didn't used to be able to do that. That's that feel of... No, that's the imperfect. Imperfect, yeah. yeah no, podía. no podía hacerlo. I yeah. didn't used to be able to do it, however now I can. But also, for example, I can give you this example of, of imperfect, and that means I still didn't do it. For example, if I'm trying to open a can or a, a jar or something, and I, I can't do it. So I said to Gordon, Gordon, please, um, thank you, I couldn't do it. Then I would say, oh, no podía abrirlo. Mm -hmm. 
But also you can say no pude, but if you say no pude, it sounds like further back in the past. Okay. But if you say, oh, Gordon, gracias, no podía abrirlo, mm. yo. I mean, I couldn't do it. And then you did it. Mm. Okay, okay. And that's interesting, this is the second time that Cynthia but, said something where the preterite pushes it further back. But, for example, if I tried, tried, tried to open it, I couldn't do it. I left it there and then gone, I don't know, an hour later came and said, look, it's open. I said, oh, no pude abrirlo. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. And then I used the pude. Yeah, to show example. it was a, uh, an attempt, it was failed and it was over. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so. It, it depends really if it's really in the past, if it's done, then it will be pude yeah. or no pude. If it's ongoing, podía. Also, if it's ongoing and then I, I could do it, then podía as well. Okay. Okay, so you were trying, no podía hacerlo, ah, and then the other person does it. Yeah. So that's, the, it, it's a very, you, you're going to see this pattern happen. How are we doing for time, by the way? I think it's, uh, yeah, I think we've. Time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't put the timer on. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> oh, okay. God. So. You're going to watch for this in the in the uh, as you go through looking at the preterite. Many verbs in the preterite have a, a, a significantly different meaning to the imperfect. Okay, and the preterite is always about um, it. It definitely happened, or it definitely didn't happen. Whereas the imperfect, it's not always sure that it did. The happen. imperfect, typically yes, it did happen or it didn't happen. But like the exception with, and then. Not or and then yes, yeah. like that. These yeah. examples we've said, but the imperfect tends to be like longer in time, uh -huh. and it's that's how imperfect you. Imperfect's a description. You're yes. describing what was going on, whereas the preterite is action. This is showing this happened or this did not happen. Yeah. Whereas the imperfect is just a description of what. It's not really action. Yes. Okay. Bien. Perfecto. Muchas gracias, Cindia. A ti, Gordon. Y obviously, all of this information will be expanded, extrapolated. Uh, magnified and exploded in the health sheets. <laughs> okay. You can tell he's not doing the health sheets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will be Cynthia's. Okay, <laughs> bueno, entonces, eh, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.